I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Yo, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. Got my brother with me. Showtime has Peter, nobody that knows bodies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Guess so, who's back? Okay. Back again. <laughs> The gang is back. Uh -huh. Tell your friends. Yeah, salute to everybody that supports this movement, everybody that loves it, everybody that hates it. Like uh, Wallow says on 15, uh, um, on, like my man Wallow says, with Gilly, uh, your haters are your marketing team. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So they'll do everything that they can to keep you relevant and keep mm -hmm. your name buzzing. But uh, what's the newest topic out here, man? Man, listen, before I even came in here, did you see Certified Shooter's video? I did. Oh man, oh man, I just got one question. What happened to the money? What uh, happened? Uh, Who got paid? From the looks of things, nobody got paid. Uh, certified Shooter, he won the URL media tournament and what it's looking like is he didn't get paid. Uh, he didn't get his certified, I mean his caffeine check. He didn't get anything. And what it's looking like is that they used a lot of the media outlets to help promote Ultimate Madness and to kind of like drive the numbers up. Yeah. And everybody was promoting it. You know, we we talked about it. We did it every week or whatever the case may be. Yep. We went to like the final four. But mm -hmm. I think my thing is this, you know, take care of your people. Regardless of the fact, like he, he it should never even have to go to him going to a 40 minute video to detail why he didn't get paid. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. dude, you gotta do good by your people. And these are some of the same things I dealt with. Like, people looked at me like I was crazy when I didn't want to work with people, but I never got paid either. And I always said that, like, I never, I know what it's like. I see these young, impressionable guys come up and, you know, they they, they looking for a shot and they just want to be around and just be seen and be in the camera and do their thing. Mm -hmm. But when you realize people are getting paid and you're not, you know, it, it, it does something to you. But when you promise someone something... That's different. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it, if you choose to work somewhere, mm -hmm. if you choose to do it, that's one thing. But when you have people on camera saying that you're going to get paid for something that you're supposed to get paid and you don't, it looks kind of crazy. What's your thoughts, bro? Man, listen. I, I, I can't... I, I can only feel for him because of the fact that I've, I've, I can understand that situation as a father. And as an impressionable guy that wants to be a part of the battle rap culture, I get it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of work is put in. He's been, he's way more tapped in with the culture, you know, him being behind the scenes than, than anywhere that I could be. Right. But I can still honestly say I wouldn't let it happen to me, though. You <laughs> won't even let that happen to me, though. I wouldn't let it happen to me, though. I wouldn't let it happen to me, though. Uh, but yes. still, still all in all, it, it, it's, it's something as good as a handshake, something as promised as you have my word mm -hmm. and now you're going back on that. He had a whole reason for that. Like he had money, like that money, he had a purpose for having that money. And for you to be playing with it like that, I can understand that man's frustration. You, you, you cutting, a, you cutting into a lot of issues here. They gotta fix it. Like, like I don't, I don't really do a lot of like outspoken blogs yeah. about things but when I see something like this when you're dealing with somebody this guy's talking about he's in the military he about to go overseas for a couple of years he was trying to get this paper to you know to see his son yeah. like that shit is kind of you know what I'm saying that shit's kind of dirty I'm not gonna hold you Very. and basically you're, you're all gotta fix this man like they have to fix this you got you got way too many people with too much bread where they could have just easily threw him a couple hundred dollars for winning it you know what I'm saying like <laughs> and remember what I told what did I say if I said if I won anything what was I gonna do with it you definitely was gonna give it to me. Exactly. I didn't definitely care. Exactly. I didn't want it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so to see somebody go through that type of shit, mm. you know what I'm saying? I, I, I it, it hurts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like me. And you see, everybody should be speaking about this. The same people that are go out their way to try to talk about you or talk about me, 
they should be the ones that's talking about this. They won't talk about this though. You know what I'm saying? They not gonna touch on this subject. They I think that shit is corny. Oh yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like I don't got no issue. You can hate me eight days a week. I'm cool with that. Fine. But just make sure you keep the same energy when one of your partners and one of your people mm. that's doing the same thing mm. is not getting treated the way they supposed to be getting mm. treated. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like this man, you know what it's like? You, I mean, you don't know what it's like. But to be traveling, this man said he lived in Florida. He was driving up and down every single week just to take pictures, just to do work, and to not get paid? Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, at, at, at a certain point, how much is this for the culture? Mm -mm. And how much is this for exploitation? Like, I, the, the worst thing, the worst feeling is, is, is knowing you're needed, but not being compensated for the job that you do. Cause any it I like and and, and and I can only speak on this on this partnership here. You know how I came in this. I'm like, listen, bro, I do this for the love. I'm just doing this just for you. You sit there like, nah, feed the fam. Nah, take care of that bill. Nah, do what you need to do. And I'm still and at the end of the day, I'm still sitting sitting here next to you, regardless if you like, listen, I got a little financial bond. It don't matter. I'm still here because of the genuine love that we got for us in this game. Not to mention, we ain't going to these events. Like, we not traveling and, and, and getting interviews. And I and, won't. And, and, and I won't. And, I have no reason to. You know, the, and, and uh, one of the, 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 the biggest, it's not one of the gripes, but one of my biggest questions is like, well, why don't you? But now you I... see stuff like this. I was a certified shooter. I was a certified shooter before certified shooter. Going to all these Talk events. Taking time away from my kid, like spending time here, running all around the place, and not getting paid, and then being told that I can't even record on my own YouTube channel anymore. So when I disconnected myself and said I didn't want to do this shit no more, mm -hmm. I'd rather be on my own. I'd rather fail <laughs> ten times a week on my own by myself <laughs> than to not succeed with someone else. But I, when I heard this story, it's not it, it's not too far. He's yeah. certified shooter ain't the only certified shooter. And then not there's a mention, bunch of different ones that went through the same type of shit. Blowing, it's, he's, it's called a whistleblower. Literally, a hey, we call him the flag out here. So it's, it's some foul play, and. I'm going to be the one to say something about it. And usually it's the ones who have the uh, the means, that need that means. Yeah. If you're fighting for your family, if you're fighting for anything that's outside of battle rap, this is now personal. You are playing with my money. And what did Worm say? Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Y'all yeah. got, got to do something. Y'all got to fix, fix this. Not, fix it, there's a bunch of questions out there because I, we were sitting right here. That was just one of the brackets for us. There was a fan bracket. Nobody, I didn't know everybody. Did that. anybody get any money from the fan bracket? Um, every event there is a make sure you share. Make sure you share. <laughs> Did you see what he said? That uh, he said he sent a message to everybody about his pay. Yeah. And then he got a message back a week later, like let me get that pic. Yo, let me get that pic of me. <laughs> Real sick and chilling. Yo, son, that is, yo, that shit is grimy, son. And the, that nigga told the, him he couldn't even come in the building. That type of shit like that, like he said, he said he went to be Swamps plus one. Yeah. Gets to the venue, was like, we don't want you in the building. This nigga drove all the way up there and had to from, watch the battle. From, from, yeah. Had to watch the battle in his car. This is the type of goofy shit when people ask me why I'm, when I'm going to go to another event. Never. I never. No. For what? This is the type of shit that goes on, I'm telling you. Like, I'm not surprised when he said he went to the event. And they told him that he couldn't come in and they don't want you around and all of that, bro. It's either you gonna be I was the same shit I was told. Either you gonna be a hundred percent here mm -hmm. or zero. That is either a hundred or zero, it's no in between. Mm -hmm. But they gotta fix that shit. Like you have to fix that. You cannot have somebody out here saying that they was supposed to win a certain amount of money. I didn't hear about it. like I was never told nothing because I wasn't interested in yeah. it. Yeah. I only did it. To potentially get it and to have you right. more into it. When they told me that I originally was doing it, they didn't want you in it. What did I say? Yeah, he was like, I can't, I'm not I doing, ain't this doing it. Unless, it's, unless he's in it. It's us. But that's just me though. You see what I'm saying? But I catch the bad rap. Yeah, you the bad guy though. I'm the, you bad, the bad guy. guy. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And from people that I've never had a conversation with in my life, but they don't understand the sacrifices and the things that I do to try to help other people. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not just about what I can make or what I could do by myself. But I feel for this kid, man. I really do. Mr. Miyagi made Daniel's son scrub that gut. <coughs> he made him paint that fence. And he right. got mad with him. He was like, yo, why am I? You got me out here doing all of this stuff. Just to be like, oh, because I'm going to show you. Paint the fence. Bow, bow. I'm showing you all of these moves. This whole time, I'm coaching. I'm molding. I'm grooming you. 
I appreciate that, Mr. Miyagi. I, I do. Mm. I do. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta fix that. And I, <laughs> this makes me stay far, as far as I can to be as independent as possible. Yeah, because that type of shit right there, that mm. puts a bad taste in people's mouths. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Mm -hmm. Y'all talking about all this multi-million dollar deal and they got the, and they got Drake. Drake! Yeah. You got Drake behind this shit and Nick can't get his little 2500? Final Nick questions. Can... Final questions, though. Like, this is literally like a plot twist, though. What if they never, like, you could tell by him telling the story, they was always leading them. It's like, well, you got to contact It's a lead on. You got to contact But you do that, though. It's a, you do that with people that you can get away with. You lead them on. People that are very impressionable. Like when I, I will tell you, when I started, I was very impressionable. People mm. lead you on. It's like the carrier and the stick. They lead you on. Mm -hmm. They'll just lead you on, lead you on, and just have you run down a rabbit trail until you find out that it's, I got to call this person. I got to call that person. Yeah. No, I got to call the marketing guy. The marketing guy ain't got your money, but the direct ain't got your money. They got to fix that shit. Man. Yeah. Like I, and like I said, I'm just going off of the, what he's saying. What he's saying is his facts. That's his fact. He got receipts and everything. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So he, I, and, and based off of the receipts that he got, and based off of the knowledge that I have in some of the same scenarios, never getting paid and running here and there, he did get paid. He did get paid. He got paid a hundred, nigga, a hundred dollars, <laughs> and a hundred dollars wasn't for the tournament. The hundred dollars was that, for, that was for, for, I need, to be the I need you to be here, work. take a couple pictures here, take this, go ahead, just take, you know, while you take that, just take this with you just as well. Take that. Yo, we'll play, I'm going to play a couple minutes of his blog, but uh, they, they definitely, they got to fix this shit, mm. man. Um, I, I got nothing else to say. I, I'm out of here. Bah. Hey. And I came up to the UR staff. I was like, hey, did you hear anything? It was like... Well, you know, we got a whole event to run today. You know, I'm going to be busy today. Uh, I'll talk to them Monday. So at this time, they get, I understand, they give me the okie doke. They give me the run around at this point. So I went up to Smack. And Smack, you know, he was like, I talked to him. I said, like, hey, you know, I want the, the media bracket. He was like, oh, word. And he confirmed with the URL staff and the URL staff confirmed. They was like, yeah, he got everyone, almost every one of them right. He was like, well, you might know a little something about this culture. He was like, well, let's shoot it, you know, let's let's shoot the video, um, send it over to me and let me know how much is the amount of whatever they decide to give you because they saying that it was caffeine at that point. So I was like... All right, so they shot it and everything, but you know, they shot it. And say congratulations to Certified Shooter. He won the media bracket on the Ultimate Madness 2 championship. Like, you know what I'm saying? He picked all the right MCs to win, so he won the prize. You know what I mean? Um, how much is the prize? I don't know yet. We got to holla at P. Yo, we got to holla at P. Holla you know what I mean? P. But you know what I mean? He got a bag coming to him, definitely. So. You know what I mean? Shout out to Certified Shooter. You know what I mean? He definitely, you know, uh, foreseen, you know, the outcome of the Ultimate Madness 2 Championship. So, salute. That next day, they didn't release it. They didn't release that footage of what Smack announced to me as the winner or whatever the case may be. He didn't do it. So, they went, they had to, um, like, they waited late, <laughs> late, super late. Until they put it on, like, you know, until they announced it, whatever. I think it was after the phone call Friday. But let's get back to it. So Monday comes. Monday comes. You see the text message. Tuesday comes. Wednesday come. Still nothing. Thursday come.
I just decided to write a sincere message to him and I wrote a sincere message to